five minutes. Here we are again, another hearing uh, that seems to primarily be about how great Donald Trump was uh, as he campaigns for president. That Donald Trump was great because he hated regulations. He wanted to gut the CFPB's consumer protections. He didn't like the EPA's clean water guarantees. Why not hack up the ATF and their gun safety rules? Well, another example I'd like to bring up is his scorn for national security regulations. Uh, the most recent that I want to talk about is a, an executive order from 2009, a regulation that states, and I quote, an official or employee leaving agency service may not remove classified information from the agency's control. And as we saw yesterday, our own DOJ believes that Trump did just that. And for the first time in history, a former president of the United States was indicted on federal criminal charges, 37 of them. This is a serious and sobering moment, but it's important for us to re remember and recognize that after pressuring local elected officials to change election results and overthrow democracy in the White House for the first time in American history, and then after that didn't work and summoning his supporters to overthrow the government on January 6th, Trump left the White House with some of our most sensitive national security secrets, including information, according to the indictment, on things like nuclear weapons. The indictment says that Trump kept these documents in ballrooms and in bathrooms that tens of thousands of guests could have accessed. Any one of these people could have stolen this information that was classified for the United States. He even allegedly showed those classified documents to his visitors, actively putting our national security secrets at risk. The indictment says that when the FBI subpoenaed these documents to get them back to safety, Trump hid 64 boxes of them and then lied to law enforcement, saying it had all been returned. Such actions violate both federal laws and federal regulations, and these rules, like so many of the, my Democratic colleagues have discussed today, are to protect the national interest, to protect consumers, to protect workers, to protect kids in our schools, to protect our clean water and our clean air. We need to advocate and continue to advocate for the federal government to be able to advance common sense regulations. And we should stop having such open scorn uh, towards regulations as a whole, and instead talk about what the right sets of rules should be. Ms. Katzen, do you agree that it's important to have federal regulations to protect things like our national security secrets, our clean air, and safety for workers and consumers? Yes, I, I do believe that regulations are beneficial. I think one of your colleagues across the aisle suggested that I was in favor of all regulations, all places, all times, uh, unlimited. That is not the case. I too am interested in sensible regulations, in regulations where the benefits justify the costs and where good common sense plays a role. Well, thank you for that, and I look forward to more good common sense in the conversations that we have here today. I yield back. Thank you. Thank you. The chair now recognizes Mrs.